Everyday life, you put in a situation where it's a battlefield. It's either you're going to survive or not. And I've been fighting all my life in many ways. Growing up, I could remember always running from things, always trying to avoid any type of confrontation. At that age of eight, I wasn't able to you know, protect myself because I was very small. I was shy. You know, I was very skinny. Home wasn't the best place for me to be in. My parents fighting at home, from being picked on, getting beat up at home, from getting beat up mentally, it made me feel, it made me feel bad. I could remember a point in time where, you know, I would come to school and, and kind of like hide out from bullies. I was so focused on not getting beat up, not getting, Called names. I didn't want to be at home. I didn't want to be at school. I was just trying to just escape. The way I was introduced to the world of fitness was my family. My father used to tell me that, you know, we're going to the park, we're going to do pull ups, you know what I'm saying? I hate it so much because that's something that I wasn't really into and interested in, you know, at my age. In my household, fitness was used as a discipline tool where, you know, if I was doing something wrong, got bad grades, I would be told to do push-ups. I'll stay in the push-up position until my arms got tired. I'll be able to hold books, you know, on my hands with my, with my arms out. As a kid, I didn't really understand it, but those were the type of things that I was, you know, forced to do. At that age, I didn't, I didn't really see anybody else doing it. I didn't see anybody doing physical fitness. I felt like, you know, me getting this type of uh, punishment at home, it made me feel less than a person. I didn't like working out. I didn't like fitness. I didn't like anything about fitness because of my father. But as I started to reveal certain positive things about it and benefits from it of me starting to develop muscles, starting to develop a physique that you know, kids my age didn't have. And being able to protect myself from being picked on, it made me feel brave. I wanted that feeling of being that person that everybody ran to. Being that person that can stand ground for others who couldn't protect themselves. And noticing and seeing the way people were reacting around me because I was working out, it started to make me feel more strong and confident within myself. It gave me a sense of purpose. And physical fitness became a lifestyle for me. It's something that I enjoy doing every day. It's something that is an everyday thing for me. It's life. Physical fitness gave me life. Once upon a time, I was in school just like you, and I used to get bullied until enough was enough. So what I did, I pushed myself. I pushed myself to start working out every day. I pushed myself to work out not only physically, but mentally. Reaching back out to high school students, I thought it would be much harder because of how society is today. But it kind of broke the ice when I was able to get them to participate. That's good, you got it.
Take your time. If you don't train your mind, you cannot get your body to do anything. So that means whether it's reading, whether it's writing, whatever sport you want to do, whatever you want to become, you cannot be that physically if you don't train your mind to be focused. I think that the youth, they walked off today feeling much more confident, much more motivated. I feel as though that I gained a lot from being with the youth. It made me more enthused to be able to continue on my journey with reaching out to the world, teaching physical fitness and self-empowerment. So I feel as though that I gave a gift and received a gift back. Physical focus. Mental fitness. Physical focus. Mental fitness. Things that happen in our life prepares us for what's to come. My past is not all peaches and cream. You know, everybody goes through their, you know, the downfalls. But, you know, it's all about being able to fall that hard and to get back up swinging. I believe everything happens for a reason I believe in it. Because it builds character. It builds personality. My main goal I want to overall get to is pushing my body to the limit. Being the best at being King Pico Gator. Do you forgive your father? Oh, I, I, I forgive everyone. I forgive my mother, I forgive my father. Uh, I learned to go about life not holding grudges in order to get to where I'm going. I have to forgive. I keep on wiping my face. This is the most ner this is the most nervous I ever been. <laughs> Talking about stuff like this, it, it makes me go back to my feelings on how I felt, you know, when I was when I was that age when I was young. Go! Start over, start over. Go! I'm sorry, I just don't